In this video, I wanted to share a Wi-Fi proof entertainment center of a technology enthusiast, struggling YouTuber, and a very casual gamer. Spoiler alert, I don't have a huge mansion with a dedicated home theater room. My setup is rather modest and budget oriented, but it works for me and most importantly, it also works for my better half. My living room measures a decent by Polish standards, 31 square meters, which is huge improvement over my last place, which was 37 square meters in total. The TV is Thomson 55 inch full HD, one of those stupid ones. No networking, no app support, no nothing. And that's exactly how I wanted it. It's a few years old, which does show, and it hangs on the wall on a swivel hanger, and all the cables run through a tunnel inside the wall. On the back of the TV, there is some mandatory LED lighting. This is a very basic kit with infrared remote, but I did teach my Logitech Harmony the control codes and I had those LEDs included in all my activities. Since I didn't want the LEDs to be on in broad daylight, I have them connected through a photoresistor, so they go on automatically when it gets dark in the room, but only if the TV is on. Behind the TV, there is also one of my ubiquity access points, but I'll cover my home networking situation in a separate video, if anyone is interested. The cabinet under the TV is a custom unit that I designed myself and handed manufactured by the company that made the kitchen and closets at my place. My audio-video gear lives in the very right section, which has some ventilation cutouts on the top that are large enough to accommodate 14cm fans if need be. The AV receiver is the Pioneer VSX828. It has been serving me well for over two years, but it has just started acting up and refusing to connect into my network. It powers my 5.1 speaker setup in the living room, as well as the magnet speakers in one of my bathrooms. My media playback device of choice is Intel NUC, running native Plex Media Player. It's a basic unit sporting a Bay Trail Celeron CPU, but it handles 1080p perfectly and has a built-in IR receiver which works perfectly with Logitech Harmony remotes. While I'm at it, the server part of my Plex setup runs on my main Synology server, the DS715 that's in my office. It has absolutely no transcoding capabilities, but direct streaming works perfectly, and it's all that currently matters. Next is my original Xbox One with 2TB Seagate external hard drive. Cable TV box on the upper shelf is nothing worth mentioning. The cabinet is also home for two Raspberry Pis. One equipped with the Hi-Fi Bear DAC Plus Pro is connected to the Pioneer receiver, while the other has the Hi-Fi Bear Amp Plus slapped onto it and powers the single magnet stereo speaker in the other bathroom. There's also 8 ports Netgear switch, Ubiquiti router and Heatron cable modem, and a compact but still very punchy Taka Harmony subwoofer. I almost forgot about the Logitech Harmony hub and the small IR blaster that make it possible to have all that hardware close in the cabinet. The Harmony Ultimate is a beast of a remote and I honestly can't imagine my life without it. The vintage radio sitting on the top of the cabinet is Diora 6214 Romans that I revamped a few months ago. It has a Raspberry Pi with a Hi-Fi Bear Amp Plus and a set of stereo speakers along with a subwoofer. And if you're wondering how this mix of electronics sound, the answer is absolutely fantastic. The 5.1 speakers are Taka Harmony in Move. The satellites are very musical giving their compact footprint and they blend in nicely in my interior. If you're looking for a set of speakers with high wife approval rating, you should definitely consider these. Surround channels are attached to the kitchen island, which is wired with speakers cable. I made a wooden cover for each to cut through the mounting assembly. The most recent addition to my setup is the Amazon Dot, which sits on one of the speakers. I made a cut in the wooden cover to fit the dot and got the power from the kitchen island so there are absolutely no cables in sight. The dot integrates with my Harmony remote and Plex media player and I really like being able to turn on or switch between my Harmony activities using voice commands. Whenever I feel like playing Forza, I get my foldable PlayStation Challenge sim rig from the hallway closet so I can enjoy the game on the Trustmaster TX wheel. If you're shopping for a wife approved sim rig, look no further. A lot of people complain about the reliability of the Trustmaster TX wool set, but mine has been working just fine, but it does carry some signs of wear even though it's been rarely used. 
I have two bathrooms at my place, and both are fitted with ceiling speakers. Two magnet ICQ62 in the bigger bathroom, powered by the second zone output on my Pioneer receiver, and a single stereo speaker, the magnet ICQ262, which is served by the Hi-Fi Berry M+. The speakers sound really great, the highs are clear, and the bass goes pretty deep, even when being powered by the little Hi-Fi Berry amp. I recently put together a very budget music listening station in the bathroom comprising a Hi-Fi Berry Duck Plus on a Raspberry Pi 3, a little tube amp straight from China, and recabled Creative Orvama Live headphones. And that's that. Hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe like some of the interior design ideas. Feel free to share it with your significant other. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.